Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. So today, we're going to take a look at the checklist module in BIM 360 field. In my previous video, we discussed issues and the overview screen. So if you haven't seen that, um, I recommend maybe take a chance to go check out that short video. Um, but today we're going to talk about checklist and the difference between checklist and issue is kind of along the lines of a an issue is something that you identify while you're walking through the field and you see either housekeeping needs or you see um, quality uh, issues that come up and you document those and you can assign issues to companies and those companies can then take that information, go out and resolve whatever issue uh, came up. Uh, with checklists, they tend to be more routine workflows, um, scheduled inspections, uh, safety walk, installation work that's going on, or pre-functional uh, checklists or commissioning checklists. So right now we're in the uh, BIM 360 field mobile app, and from here we can access the issues checklist by picking on the checklist module from the pop-up in the lower corner. So from the checklist module, you can see our list of all of our available checklists from our site. And additionally, it also shows the last time that that specific checklist was run. Um, from here, we can access and start any one of our checklists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just jump in here. I'm going to start one of these checklists. And this actually creates the checklist. So typically what I recommend um, is just to click on the header information and go ahead and set your location for your building. I'm going to do level one area B. And what happens is any issues that derive from this checklist will automatically be assigned to this area. Additionally, we can come in here and we can go ahead and set the company and we can set tags and priorities or any descriptions we need, but pretty much at this point we're ready to go. And as we're going through the checklist, we just simply check positive for the issues that pass, and if we need to, we can add any comments necessary. And then we can also come down here and we just keep going through this the checklist checking our issues. Now any issues that fail, so if I fail an issue like that, you can see over there on the left it automatically creates an issue. That issue then is visible right there and I can if I wanted to go in and actually edit that issues information specifically. So if I need to add um, a photograph or something like that to this issue, I can do that right here through the attachments. So I'm going to go ahead and click attachment, add photo, and now I've added a photo to that issue. So just a couple other notes about checklists. Um, you can bake in information into your checklist. So for like I, right here, item number seven, where it says verify temporary spacers are arranged for easy removal. If I'm unsure what that means, I can click on that little icon, that little information button. And in there I can see photograph or anything I need to to support that checklist. So if the project engineer who's out walking the site isn't quite exactly sure what those spacers are or where they would be, he can quickly pull that information up and see that as it relates to the checklist. So now that I've run my checklist, I'm ready to synchronize my information and push it back up to the server. So you can see I've got two checklists that I've run and one issue that's been generated. And as soon as I hit the synchronize button, that's going to push that information up to the server. So that's the very basics of checklist. I hope today's video has been kind of useful in helping you understand this module a little bit better. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And I want to thank you for joining me today for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I hope you have a great day.